Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for a look at this beautiful card featuring Spellbinder's Woodland Scene from Simon's Snow Globe Collection. This beautiful die set works well on its own as in this card or with the Snow Globe, the main die set from the collection. Starting off with an ink blended background, I'm working on Bristol Smooth Cardstock, which is my cardstock of choice for ink blending. It has been die cut with the second largest die from the Essential Stylish Ovals die set. I will do my ink blending with blending brushes or blending tools, but really my preference is the older blending tool. I've brought over a strip of paper so that I can hold the oval in place as I blend without getting finger marks on the background. My favorite inks for ink blending are the Distress Oxides. Shaded Lilac has been applied along the horizon and then I finish off with Peacock Feathers. To give this sky a nighttime feel, black soot is being added around the perimeter of the oval. To create a smooth blend, I'll go back in with the peacock feathers and shaded lilac and blend the two together. The Distress Oxide inks are slow drying, which makes them perfect for blending. However, you don't want to be handling your panel until it is dry to avoid getting finger marks on it. I could have dried it with a heat tool, but instead I set it aside for about 20 minutes before I continued with the project. The foreground for this scene will be created with a couple of die cuts using the landscape profile included in the Woodland Scene die set. The length of this die coordinates with the snow globe, so it's not quite big enough for this oval, so I've cut two pieces, one of the pieces has been modified so that I can overlap them. The two have been taped together temporarily and I'm going to use the same oval die to cut the bottom of the snowbanks. The snowbank that is furthest away is going to be adhered to the oval background with liquid adhesive. The other piece will be popped up with some foam squares. So having the two separate die cuts really was a benefit and adds some beautiful dimension to the card. The four birch trees have been die cut from white cardstock. Using a blending brush, I'll add a little bit of Distress Oxide Ink Faded Jeans to the right hand side of each of the trees. This is one die that cuts all four trees at once. They aren't all positioned right side up, so I make sure that I flip them around so that I ink the correct side. Soft dark blue will provide some nice shadowing on these trees. The rest of the elements for this scene have been die cut from black cardstock. I love silhouette images against a nighttime sky. This set also comes with antlers so that one of the deers can be modified. I'm adding the antlers to the largest deer to create a stag. I have three silhouettes of evergreens and those are going to be adhered to the background with liquid adhesive. The two trees on the left hand side are tucked behind that popped up snowbank. The final tree is positioned on the snowbank that has been adhered directly to the background. Next I'm going to adhere the stag and the deer. I have the bunny and two stumps sitting in the foreground. I wasn't exactly sure at this point where they were going to be placed, and in the end, I chose not to use the stumps. But of course, the cute bunny was in. Next, I'm going to position the birch trees. This first one on the right-hand side has been adhered with glue directly to the panel. The other three will be sitting on the popped-up snowbank. I'm using thin foam strips that are placed just on the portion of the tree which will overhang the snowbank. Liquid adhesive will be used on the base of the tree. Then I finish off my nighttime woodland scene with the bunny sitting in front of the middle birch tree. This set is accompanied by a banner die and two sentiment inserts. I've taken one of those inserts and I've popped it into the banner die and taped it into position. 
I chose the sentiment, peace, love, joy. That is exactly how I feel when I go walking through the woods. Banner dye alone was used to cut black cardstock. When the gold foil banner is adhered on top of the black one, those words will really pop. And what's a winter scene without snow? I like to add spatter with Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. I've added just a touch of water and it'll be applied with a fan brush. This is a great product to use with either the Distress or the Distress Oxide inks. Using ordinary white paint, the color will bleed through because these inks are water reactive. I have nothing against colored snowflakes, but in this case, I wanted bright white. Snowy texture is added to the base of the trees with Nouveau Stone Drops Chalk White. This product is gritty and dries to a matte finish. It is the perfect way to replicate snow. When the snow falls, it often settles in the crooks of the branches, and so I'll add some additional texture there as well. And when everything is dry, the oval is adhered to an A2 size black card base. Banner sentiment will slightly overhang that popped up snow bank, so I use some of those thin foam strips just along the base of it. And that completes this Christmas card featuring Spellbinder's Woodland Scene from Simon's Snow Globe Collection. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I appreciate your visit.